Okay, so in this video we're going to talk a little bit about ArcGIS Online. This was something that we talked about in the first couple of weeks of class and I just want to reiterate a couple of great things about the application, talk about the different ways that you can use it and encourage you to really get online and explore it. This is really something that Esri has been building out um, a lot over the last couple of years and it seems like every time you turn around there's new functionality and, and new stuff that you can do with it. So it's, it's very powerful. It's a great way to communicate with folks that otherwise don't have access to ArcGIS software. Uh, it's also a really good way to get across the importance of looking at geospatial data and um, how it can uncover trends and all sorts of uh, really interesting things um, happening. So first, um, just obviously going to ArcGIS.com. Uh, once you go to this page, you'll have uh, the ability to create an account. The accounts with Esri are free, and once you have one set up, you'll be able to use um, all the tools essentially that I'm going to show you. Um, as this screen is, is basically telling us right now that the really nice thing about ArcGIS line, Online is, is once your map is set up, it's accessible on a number of devices. So once I have my account set up uh, to get started is, is a rather straightforward process. I can just click on Map, and that's going to open up the very simple ArcGIS.com um, web viewer. On the left, I'm going to have a set of instructions that walk me through the basics of setting up my map. Uh, again, very straightforward. Anyone can follow these. And for those of you, obviously, that have been working with GIS now for about a month, you'll notice that a lot of the tools look very similar. So I still have my add content to map options. I can select and change base maps. I can save my maps out, I can share them, I can print, do some basic measurements, um, create bookmarks, spatial bookmarks, um, and even find an address or place. Um, so starting here, if you have data in hand, you want to upload it, you can certainly do that. That's something that uh, was added in the past few years. Uh, you can also search for data that may already be out there that you want to use, which is what I'm going to do here. So. Uh, in the find box, I simply type something that I'm interested in finding. And once the data loads, any of these layers can be added. Uh, as with any data, some are going to be better than others. And uh, you just kind of have to dig through a little bit until you find something that you're interested in. But once I have my data loaded, I can start working with it. And What's nice about the way that the tool works is that a lot of the um, layers are, are still editable. So even though this isn't my data, I can still do things like set the transparency, set the uh, zoom scales, and really start building out my map. Um, Pop-ups are, are handy, as, as they would be for, for any in online application. So if I don't like the way that this particular uh, pop-up is configured or maybe I want to add a photo or a link or something I can certainly do that and it's it's very easy I, I simply find the layer click the little triangle next to it and click on configure pop-up and it pops a wizard and from there I can take it on all right so setting up a basic map is pretty straightforward um, next I just want to show a couple of different ways to put a twist on this. This is a published map that I created using some of our data uh, that we had with uh, Milan Polytechnic or through Milan Polytechnic uh, which was the Instagram photos pre and post Sandy. So starting with a, a point data set or a CSV loading creating a point data set out of that and then loading it up into ArcGIS online I end up with something like this and within the attributes is the actual link back to the original Instagram post. So by selecting one of my points here, I can see the link to view the photo. I simply click on it and there's a photo of the effects of Superstorm Sandy in Lower Manhattan. So it's, it's a nice, nice way to access information. Uh, there's something called ArcGIS Explorer online. This looks similar in many ways, but the tools are more sophisticated. So I have some things that I didn't have available before. I have dashboards. I can set up these nice widgets. Um, the application itself moves a little smoother. Um, again, the tools look similar, but it's starting to feel a little more like the desktop version. 
Another nice feature here is that they have this presentation tab. In the presentation tab, I can actually start building a story as I would maybe in a PowerPoint presentation, but actually using maps. So, for example, if I go to my slideshow and click play, um, I can title what I'm looking at here. I can still interact with the data, which is actually quite nice. And then when I'm ready to move on to my next slide, as it were, we actually have this nice kind of zooming feature. Um, I can also change the backgrounds, as you saw before, and, and look at maybe a particular area um, that I, I'm really interested in or, or that I want to share. Uh, finally, ArcGIS Online also has some templates and some more advanced control that you can operate with. Uh, this is a good example. Um, I did an analysis where I wanted to look at um, the New York City restaurant grades as distributed through Manhattan. So I created a, a coded interpolated surface from it. Um, here I can kind of explain my methodology and process here on the left. Uh, for those folks that are interested, I can include a link to the actual raw data, and then of course somebody can still manipulate the map itself, move it around a little bit, look at the various contours, zoom into areas that they're interested in, that sort of thing. So it's a scale of, of possibilities here going from the very basic to uh, more advanced, but I highly encourage you to uh, get online with ArcGIS.com, really explore it, uh, use it as an opportunity to get your data out there and used uh, and, and help others really understand how uh, accessible GIS is. Uh, certainly let me know if you have any questions or comments, and I'll look forward to seeing what you create.